Where's the chop sake oriental sauce? They don't have that anymore? Why the f not? Uh, many, many good reasons. Did you get the other Soldier Boy is the poster boy for what is toxic masculinity. I'm gonna kind of go on a little bit of a rant here because when we talk about toxic masculinity, we are often talking about its effect on everyone else around that person. But I think that it misses the one point, that this is so insanely destructive to the person that is having to deal with it. What we have done is we have actually taken people and had them cut out a part of who they are, stop them from being able to feel because feeling is weakness, showing pain is weakness, hurting is weakness. And because of that, we end up making people that are really great at being soldiers are just grinning and bearing it, taking it, coming off as falsely harsh, but it isn't real because when you can't feel or understand why you feel a certain way, you end up going through all these maladaptive ways of dealing with your pain. There you go, Guff. Man, I miss Benny's. Listen, let's have a little chat about this team, okay? And this way of going into using benzodiazepines and crushing them, which is a huge sign of an addiction and alcohol, these are ways from stopping you to think. They actually shut off your brain so you're not able to process complex thoughts or hurts or negativity or things that bother you. They're stopping him from being able to feel because he doesn't have the coping mechanisms in order to deal with it. And he doesn't want to. A lot of people that are dealing with that effect that society and media has done to many men and women is to cut out those pieces of them that make them human, which makes for really great soldiers when we were sending out people to just feed a machine when you're not supposed to think, you're just supposed to end up going into the field and dying for your country or the cause or the government or big business. Just work and don't think. The effect of that is that we end up with generations of people that being able to feel and understand why they feel a certain way is considered wrong. It's considered a weakness when actually that's actually your strength. That's what tells you what you need. That's like being on a ship with wind but no sails. How do you know what you're going to do, what you need, if you're not able to understand why you feel the way that you do? And then what do you do with all that hurt and pain that's inside of you? It comes out as rage and anger and vitriol and projections because you don't have any mechanism to deal with it in a way that's healthy and understandable. And so you just close yourself off and shut down with either work or alcohol or drugs or just never letting anyone in and everyone around you, all of your relationships because of that, suffer. How about this team, okay? Yeah, what the hell do I need a team for? I even sorted gunpowder for you. Why am I supposed to be impressed with that? Hands off the f shield. Because it's so hard to form bonded relationships because you're not allowing other people in is that you end up pushing everyone away. Because of that, it becomes this self-fulfilling prophecy that everyone is gonna hurt you because you're gonna hurt them first before they even get close to you. And what else often that happens is that when someone does get close to you or notices some of your vulnerabilities or the things that hurt you, you are going to do something to self-sabotage or push them away or shut them out because being vulnerable, being true, feeling things hurts so much because again, you've been fed this lie that feeling things is a weakness, that it's wrong, that there's something bad with people that feel. Remember, this was not because this is what is being masculine or what is being tough. This was because if you don't feel, then you can work more to feed the machine that is society. And we have thrown away a whole generation of people in order to feed this machine and just chewed them and spat them 
out and after they're just thrown by the wayside. There's no mental health or support system that's really good and in place because they're still fed this lie. And a lot of people don't even know what their needs or emotions or feelings are. We have to kind of reprogram these things. For some people, they can feel it for other things, maybe TV shows, maybe for other people going through things, but to feel them for themselves, they've actually shut that part of themselves off, cut it out of them. And so to be able to regrow that part of your brain, that, that neuronal connection can be really painful because it's not just that they don't know that they should, that they have a right to these feelings, that this is good for them, but that it's seen as this weakness, but really it's a strength. Men really walk around like that? Yeah. I mean, uh, dads do. Tell you one thing, he would be caught dead in that gear. That projection of what is weakness is also really common of people that are dealing with toxic masculinity. Pushing other people away and making fun of people, it's the first sign that people have an actual ego weakness because they have to insult other people because they want to bully them before they get bullied and they're worried about their own feelings of what is masculine or tough or strong. They end up using insults or names in a very simplistic manner because it's that limbic system. For a lot of people that are dealing with this, a lot of their emotions are stunted at a lower developmental level because they haven't been allowed to express themselves and have their own feelings. So one of the things is we end up with this kind of teenage mocking of others that usually goes away when we hit adulthood, but a lot of people that are dealing with that toxic society's thought of what is tough, and I'm going to say tough instead of toxic masculinity because this happens to everyone, not just for men per se. We're taught this belief of showing things that are very deep to us is wrong. Lots to unpack there. Um... Because that's a real man. <laughs> Holy shit, did he make some strong drinks. And that thought of this person is a real man saying that other people are not, putting people in these tiny little boxes that this is good and then that means that that is bad. It really bothers me. It angers me because like you should be able to be whatever you damn well please. Whatever makes you feel good and happy and enjoying things. You shouldn't have to fit into society's what is right and what is wrong and this is good and this is bad and this color is being overly feminine and this color is being too masculine. It's all absolutely ridiculous telling us these lies that you know what? you're not good enough for being who you are. So you better change and buy these things and do these actions that really just suit the big machine that is society. You have a family, you have him and you have me. Maybe if I'd raised you, it could have made you better and not some weak, sniveling. And here we have this moment where I'm feeling sympathy for Homelander because he so deeply wants to be able to have a family to feel like he belongs. And instead of having this be embraced by the person that he so desperately wants that, and I think that for many of us, we want that parental figure to be accepting and loving and validating and to say that we are good enough. And that hope is so paramount to our feeling of well-being and belonging. Starved for attention, but there's no fixing that now. Weak? Um, you. I know. You're a f disappointment. Those words, like that disappointment, that's like the last word that we want to hear from anyone because we all just try to do the best thing that we can with the tools that we are given. And so that thing that he wants, I think that because so many of us can understand it, we feel this sympathy for Homelander in this moment and how harsh that soldier boy is. Just so that we can be clear, I'm not saying you have to be artificially emotional if that's not what is your nature, but don't cut out your feelings from who who you are. Allow yourself to understand that your feelings are valid and important and don't give that up in order to feed this arbitrary belief in what is being tough. What you feel matters and it's important. Really what is tough is being able to face your emotions, not 
running from them in alcohol or benzodiazepines or work or avoidance. It's really scary to be able to face who you are, to face your emotions. That takes a lot of emotional intelligence. And that is what often gets cut out when we talk about this toxicity of what is being tough. And if you're dealing with that, if you have a hard time in understanding what your needs are, when you ask for help, it makes you feel vulnerable and horrible. This might be something that you want to work on because it'll help in all the areas of your life. If you take those steps of courage to be able to let yourself feel and be vulnerable, you will have better relationships with the people that are around you, but also a better relationship with you. <laughs> also stops you from being able to love because that is a risk. And so a lot of times you end up having all of these difficulties with the people that are around you. So I'm sorry about this rant on toxic masculinity, which I just believe is this toxic toughness. I just see the effects of it. It increases the chances of depression and suicide and risky behaviors and addictive behaviors. A lot of people aren't able to do the things that they really care about or love. They stop that because if they love to dance or create or do art, they would be like, oh no, that is way too weak of a field to go into. That's too foofy or feminine or enjoyable and I shouldn't be able to seek that. And plus, people that are dealing with this often don't go and get help. And by the time that they do get help, it's often they've caused so much damage that it's just so much work in order to get better. It stops people from being able to talk about their vulnerabilities, their weaknesses. And if you can't look at what are your weaknesses and your vulnerabilities, you're never gonna grow. And so because of that, because I've seen the damage that this has done to families, to generations, it's just so close to my heart because I think that in a lot of ways, Soldier Boy looks really cool and tough and a lot of people would want to be him or be with him. And they don't really see all of the damage that this causes because we look at Soldier Boy a lot the way that the media would portray him. We don't see all of the hardship of everything that's around it. Something else we need to talk about is how toxic the internet can be, if you haven't noticed, and how NordVPN can be better than a soup at keeping you protected and safe. For example, when I travel, I can't access the streaming services that I pay for at home, and I can't watch the same shows in a different country, except with NordVPN, I can. I just pick my country and I am able to access my content. Plus, when I log into Gmail or YouTube, it freaks out and wants me to verify all over again, but I always forget my password. But with NordVPN, it's like I never left home. Plus, NordVPN has threat protection, so all my connections are safe from malicious attacks. And this is really important. If you are not using NordVPN, you really should be. It ends up keeping us safe from ad tracking and all of those other supervillain energy on the internet these days. It's super easy and if I'm saying it's super easy, that's saying a lot. You can connect with one click or you can enable auto connect, which is what you should do with up to six devices on every major platform. And because you watched my video, Right now, go head on over to nordvpn.com slash georgiadow and you get a two-year plan plus an additional month with a huge discount. It's risk-free with NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee. So head on over to nordvpn.com slash georgiadow or click on the link below to try it now. Clicking on that link really does help this channel and thank you so much to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. So let me know what are your thoughts on Soldier Boy and this toxic masculinity, really this toxic toughness that we're sold. What are your feelings on it as well? And hopefully if you like this video, you can hit subscribe and share with people that really helps other people find my channel. So thank you and hopefully I'll see you on the next video.